we know that the Egyptians worshipped the dead um, and that they did alchemy. Um, we know they had surgery that they were able to do. They could do dental surgery. Um, they ventured into brain surgery, but they had to have painkillers to be able to do dental or brain surgery. So obviously, either either the opium or whatnot, which is a powerful painkiller, was working for them, or they had better painkillers like nitrous oxide or something like that. But if they did have that, they wouldn't tell us because they try to make everything look like it's natron and embalming dead bodies and stuff like that that doesn't um, serve a purpose as far as anything beyond when you're already dead. But they try to make it look like they were dumb, um, but they had more on alchemy than they're willing to share with anybody is what I believe. But they had more witches in um, Egypt because Egypt was based on their religion their religion was to worship the dead so they had more witches because the witches worship the dead so when the Bible's telling you that the witches pass go down to hell well they do because they they followed the practices of the Egyptians and um, they developed their own alchemies too um, which once again if they knew something they wouldn't tell you um, because I believe a lot of them know a lot about painkilling, a lot about dentistry, a lot about um, just painkilling in general. Um, it was said, and I don't know if this is true or not, that cocaine was able to numb skin. Um, so that's interesting because the Egyptians dealt a lot with opium and cocaine and stuff like that as their pharmacy, like as their drugs. Um, but they, they also, I believe they had nitrous oxide because I, I believe that they could like do dental surgery easier than they say they could. Um, but we all we get is remains of a very long ago ancient civilization, which is very hard to prove that they knew how to do this stuff. But I, I'm pretty sure they knew how to do a lot of this stuff. 